As gamers, audio is really important, and that is why we are very picky about our gaming headsets. So today in this video, I'll be looking at the best premium gaming headset to pick from, and I've got three headsets to choose. Now, if you join us for the very first time, smash that subscribe button notification icon to watch more videos like this. As I mentioned, they are three headsets. These are the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro Wireless, the Steel Series Nova Pro Wireless, and the Astro A50 Wireless. So let's start it off with the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro, which is the newer of all three headsets. It has this leather cup build. It's got uh, 50 millimeter drivers. You've got soft padding on the top, Turtle Beach logo there, uh, plastic build all around, feels very solid though. And you've got, of course, a drop down boom mic. This also comes with its own base station, allowing you to connect directly to your console, uh, giving you better connectivity, but also uh, has that extra battery slot to charge your device. And you can also switch between either your console or your PC. So it will work for the both categories there. It's got a USB port just to charge the headset, and then you've got a USB type C port directly to the console itself. Now there's an LED ring around it letting you know that it's either charging, lit up or connected depending on the colors and of course you've got those custom EQs. Now in terms of fit though it fits really snug on here and it's got basically some really good noise isolation. You can drop down the microphone plus uh, you also have active noise cancellation built into the headset as well. Now, looking at this SteelSeries Nova Pro Wireless, is it feels like a much lighter headset, and it's got a different build. You've got this metal uh, with, of course, the the uh, traditional steel series headband which is taken from of course snowboarding uh, you've got face plates that are replaceable as well as the headband as you can see i have red colors which is not something you get traditionally when you buy you've got a retractable boom mic built in all your controls are on the left ear cup itself now this also comes with its own base station and has a dual battery setup as well at, just like the total beach where you can swap them the base station itself allows you to go in and customize so you can actually directly customize certain things on here like your eqs and all the management within the headset itself now the headset itself is super comfortable and light. It also has built-in active noise cancellation, both of the microphone, which is called the ClearCast Microphone 2.0, as well as also the headset itself. Now our final headset, of course, is the Astro A50 Wireless. Now this has an all plastic build, but very traditional standard Astro uh, just build all together. You've got a drop down mic, you've got buttons on the side to adjust your volume and your game chat on in your right ear cup. Uh, the uh, ear pads themselves are of course are replaceable and they're also washable so you can actually take them out and clean them, giving you some effective cleaning. What I do like about this is just it's still got that traditional Astro look. In terms of comfort and fit, this is a very light headset as well and uh, the mic drops down. Uh, you don't have active noise cancellation here. You do have a base station that allows you to dock the headset on there to charge with the indicator in front. And of course, you can either get it to work with your console as well, Xbox or PlayStation. Now, the one downside about this base station is that it does have micro USB for connectivity, unlike the others with USB Type-C, because this is also a much older headset. But it does give you optical out if you choose to and optical in, especially for streaming purposes. So let's jump in and rate the headsets themselves. In terms of build quality, where do they actually all land? To me, I have to go with the SteelSeries Nova Pro as being the lightest and most comfortable headset. That headband allows it to just stay and float on your head and it doesn't affect the sides of the drawer. Plus the retractable microphone really comes in well comfortably. You can bring it as close as possible. Second here on this list is the Astro A50 Pro Wireless. This is also a light headset and also the microphone has very good um, flexibility to it and feels really comfortable. While the, the Turtle Beach Style Pro is the third on the list, it's got a bit much more of a rigid feel to it. It is still comfortable, just not as comfortable as the others. And the microphone doesn't really boom in as much. You do have to spend time bending it. It might take some time there. So that's where the Steel Series wins. When it comes to active noise cancellation, I think this is an interesting one. Astro A50 comes in third because it doesn't have active noise cancellation uh, when it comes to just blocking your surrounding. I have to give 
the second spot to the Turtle Beach uh, Stealth Pro, which yes, does a really good job, but not as good as the Steel Series, which just edges it out a little bit there. So that's something to definitely take note, but still both of them do a really good job with the active noise cancellation. Now, when it comes to um, the microphone, this is an interesting one. And honestly, take a listen. You're gonna hear four microphone samples from all of them, and I'll let you know how they sound. This is a sound sample of the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro, giving you an idea of what the microphone sounds like and what you should expect from this as a gamer and also on a day-to-day -day basis. And now we have the SteelSeries Actis Pro Wireless. This is a sound sample from the microphone, giving you guys an idea of how well it sounds and what you should expect while gaming or using this headset on a day-to-day -day basis. Now this is a second option of the SteelSeries Actis uh, Pro Wireless using the Sonar software, giving you a different sample of the microphone and something that adds a little extra with this headset. This is a sound sample of the microphone on the Astro A50 headset, giving you an idea of how well it sounds and how it compares to the other microphones. Now let's head back to the rest of the video. So the clear winner here is the SteelSeries Nova Pro, and that's because of the Sonar software technology that you can see basically amps up uh, the, uh, the vocal quality on the microphone there. I think all of them in general sound pretty close to each other, although the SteelSeries regular microphone I think is also slightly better. So that's something again, SteelSeries takes the win right there. So what about the audio quality? That's what we're here for. How well do these actu actually capture your gaming sound? Honestly, they all do a really good job. They all have different sound profiles. I do like the fact that with the Turtle Beach, it's a quick tap of a button to change your sound profiles right there on your ear. You can do that with the base station on uh, the Steel Series, and also you do have that also on the Astro A50. So you do have that ability there. But the audio profiles are really good because you can hear those footsteps well. You can actually hear uh, you know, directional sound, knowing where people are coming from, where the gunshots are coming from. Those kind of things that will help enhance your gameplay. You can definitely do it with all three gaming headsets to the highest ability possible. Now, the software for each of them do do a good job in helping you of course, expand that audio experience. So uh, with the SteelSeries, you can go into SteelSeries software, you can customize things with the software all the way through, also use the Sonar software built in as well. Same thing with the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro, the software is very customizable, doing a lot more with that, as well as the Astro A50, where you can customize the microphone and all those different levels on there. I think all three softwares are solid and give you a good representation of what you should be getting uh, from your full gaming experience here. So I do like that with it. I do also like the fact that with the Still Series, the base station allows you to just to jump in quickly while looking at something visual in front of you and making that change. Now let's look at battery life for all three headsets. Now, first off, at number three is the Astro A50 wireless. It clocks in around 15 hours, then you have to plug it or at least dock it back in to fully charge. So that's something you have to do. Coming in second is the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro, which does 12 hours before you have to swap to another battery. So you can go almost close to 24 hours uh, with this. And then finally, we have the um, Steel Series uh, Nova Pro Wireless, which comes in at almost 32 hours. And uh, you can also swap the batteries again at that point. So giving you double the range on there in terms of battery life. So this brings me to my final consensus. Who has the best uh, premium gaming headset? And that has to go to SteelSeries with the Nova Pro Wireless. I think it clearly won on more categories here. And you do also have the clear distinction of being able to connect to two uh, devices at the same time. So for instance, if you have a home setup and uh, you're basically running everything off a monitor, you can have your gaming console as well as also your PC connected to the, um, the SteelSeries headset and then also connect to a third device, your smartphone or your Nintendo Wii or whatever it is and you have three devices connected to, together. While of course the Turtle Beach is a dual device setup and Astro is just a single device set up there. So that extra capability basically makes the SteelSeries Nova Pro a winner for me here. Now, don't get me wrong, 
the both the Turtle Beach and the Astro E50 are really solid offerings. And if that's something you like, definitely go ahead and pick them up. Honestly, guys, these are still three very solid headsets. Though I do, I'm waiting for Astro to give me an update so I can have USB Type-C charging and a few more features on there. But if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Leave them down below. If you want to pick up any of these devices, use our links in the description of this video. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.